Hello everyone. Um, I want you. I want to tell you guys and motivate you guys to not be scared about this coronavirus. What's going on in this world and this disease? And everyone's going crazy buying everything in the grocery store, and there's a whole bunch of lines and etc. 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 Don't be scared. Why is everyone scared? Why is everyone panic? Don't panic. Don't be afraid. Jesus is still in control. The Bible says he will protect his people. Do you believe in Jesus? If not, then yeah. yeah. Then I understand why you would panic. But for all those Christian peoples who believe in Jesus and Holy Spirit, don't be afraid. Don't panic. Jesus protects his people. And I'm not I'm not saying only his people. He protects everybody who calls upon his name. The Bible says the Lord will never forsake whoever seeks him. This is a time to get on our knees. To seek the Lord. To praise him. To thank him for the day he has given us. Not to go into panic. Breathe. Praise Him. Pray. He will heal the lamb. The Bible says, Whoever humbles and prays, I will hear them and I will heal their lamb. Humble yourself. Get away from, sin, from sins. Pray. Seek the Lord. And 100% the Lord will heal the lamb. He will heal America. He will. And not only America, he will heal the whole world to show how powerful he is. To show that he is the almighty God, the Alpha, Omega, the beginning, the end. So everybody will proclaim and say that he is the Son of God. He is Jesus, the Lord and the Savior. And the Bible says every knee will bow. doesn't matter if you're satanic, if you're not a believer. Every knee will bow. Even Satan will bow. And do you know Satan believes in God too? He does, he even says in the Bible, he believes in God. And yet he hates you. You know why? Because you're God's children. He, God loves you so much and Satan hates that. What does the Bible say? He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. He hates you. And I don't get why there's people that love Satan and are satanic people. It's their mental. Anyways, I just want you, I just want to encourage you guys to not get into panic. Everything is okay. God's still on the throne. Jesus is on the throne. He took all his sick, all the sickness, everything on the throne. He's risen from the dead. He's not dead. He's surely alive. All he's waiting is for a relationship with him. Do you know what would happen if America, all everybody in America, got on their knees and started praying and seeking God? You know what would happen? You'd see a whole bunch of miracles. You'd see the blind open their eyes. You'd see the lamb who cannot uh, walk, the paralyzed people start walking. People that couldn't talk start talking. You'll be seeing people that in coffins raise up. You'll be seeing a whole bunch of miracles. That's if the whole America would rise up and start believing in God again. Start praying. Start seeking Him. You'd see a whole bunch of miracles. It will be all over the news. Miracles, 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 miracles. What's going on? What's going on? Nobody will be speaking of viruses. Because there will be miracles all over it. Virus, you know where, where virus would be? The coronavirus? It would be in hell. That's where it belongs. So encouragement. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit is with us. He has never left you. This is a time to reconnect with your family. To get on your knees. Lay down walk however you prefer and pray to him seek a relationship with him
pray for the land. Praise him. And believe me, 100%, he will heal the land. He will heal the land. 100%. And then you're going to look back and say, what was I worried about? So what if everybody's going crazy? Don't go crazy. I'm not going crazy. I know God's in control. What am I supposed to go crazy? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There's no paper towels. Ay, 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 no toilet paper. Do you know in Soviet Russia, we didn't have paper towels. We didn't have toilet paper. We had, you know what? Newspapers. We had leaves. That's how poor it was. And Americans, they're, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, hey, you guys, newspaper. Newspapers are still coming through. Hey, that's a plus. Hey, there's leaves growing on the trees. That's a plus. Hey, thank you, Jesus. And then you're going to hear, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> Don't get discouraged. Everything is going to be okay. Smile. Talk to friends, talk to family, hang out. Just don't forget about God. Don't forget about Jesus. Don't go forget about Holy Spirit. He loves you dearly. And He will heal the land. Like I said, like the Bible states, whoever humbles themselves, goes away from their, sick, their sins, and humbles themselves, I will hear them, and I'll heal the land. God bless you guys. May Jesus bless you. Ask for Holy Spirit.